hi beautiful people welcome back to my youtube channel my name is naninga for those who don't know me as you guys know um or basically you've seen from the beginning of this video we are doing a, a makeup look that if you follow me on tiktok you have seen it if you do watch my youtube shorts you have definitely come across it and you know sometimes youtube shorts are great tiktok is great but you do not get the full explanation so this is the full makeup video tutorial on that blue and red eyeshadow look that you saw there that was looking a bit too much but it's definitely fun to do okay so basically i always do my eyebrows fast because eyebrows do frame your face and for eyebrows i normally go in with either a brown or a black pencil and fill in the missing hairs and then afterwards, I normally just outline the eyebrow using a concealer. And in this case, I've used the LA Girl Pro Conceal Concealer and it's in the shade Fawn. And then I go in with a brush and just clean the concealer up. And then now in this case, I'm applying some eyebrow gel just to make sure that the eyebrows stay in place. Now, because I have very sparse eyebrows, I normally draw my eyebrows literally any shape, any particular day. So today I've tried like to draw them a bit straight. They're not very curved. And then for the eyeshadow base, I'm going to use the same Illegal Pro Conceal Concealer in the shade Fawn as an eyeshadow base or an eyeshadow primer just to make sure that the colors are more visible and also that the eyeshadow stays in place. Now we're going to go direct into the eyeshadow look and I'm going to do a cut crease. But this cut crease just, just entails certain colors and certain steps. You can use any color of your choice for this particular type of cut crease so what i'm doing is that i'm doing blue and i've started off with a very um deep blue it's i'd almost say that it's like a neon blue and i'm just applying it in the inner corner of my eye specifically in the crease of my eye and after applying it and i just dabbed in that blue so that it doesn't blend out poorly and then after dabbing it in i went in with like a lighter shade and blended it out and then now towards the outer corner of my eye towards my eye external part of my eye how can how do you describe this part the outer part of the eye <laughs> outer corner of my eye i have just gone in with a maroon shade as you guys can see and then i also blended that shade out with a lighter shade now to do the cut crease this is the tricky part you have to clean the outline first and i'm just using a, a cotton bud and some micellar water for this step so for this step we are going to create the shape of the cut crease by cleaning out the extra eyeshadow using micellar water and a cotton bud and now that we have the shape of the cut crease that we want i'm going to take my concealer in this case which is the nyx concealer and i'm going to create the outline first again using the concealer and after creating the outline of the shape that i want i then i'm going to fill in the entire eyelid with concealer yes so the shape first using the concealer just to make sure that everything is nice and clean and as you can see this shape kind of curves from the inner corner of your eye goes down a little bit towards the outer corner and then goes up again you know once you're out of the eye area and then we are now filling in with the entire concealer and we have a nice clean base to apply any further colors and then after this we are going to apply the same red or maroon that we applied on the outer corner but this time round we are going to apply the red in the inner corner of the eye like opposite basically so the blue will go towards the outer corner of the eye because initially it was in the inner corner and then the maroon or the red will go in the inner corner of the eye because initially it was in the outer corner so we are alternating the colors and i feel like this creates such a beautiful beautiful effect yep so after alternating those colors you're going to see it's going to create a really really beautiful gradient effect some people in this day and age because people are so used to monochrome colors we're not seeing any more of this kind of looks 
but I'm sure if you're to go to a festival, if you're to go to a function, you can definitely rock this kind of look. Yep, so I'm really filling them in right there. So I've done the red and now I'm just doing the blue. I've sped it up a little bit so that you guys can not get bored. And then we are just going to mix the center right there so that the colors don't look like that they're, they're different, you know, so that at least they, they are flowing into each other. And now we have a nice gradient effect. And then towards the lower part, I'm just going to go in with a really lighter shade of blue. You know, I want everything to look like a gradient, okay? And then right now, we are going to drag that blue just below on our lower lid. Yeah, just to tie the entire eyeshadow together so i'm just dragging it out and then now i'm just going i've cleaned the area with a q-tip again and then now i'm going to go in with concealer just to create a straight line super straight line so that my eyeshadow can look straight and fabulous yeah straight and fabulous that's what i was going for like proper line okay and then now we're going to do our face. Yes, and you have to prep your skin thoroughly for this face. Oh, the eyeshadow looks amazing. I haven't yet put my lashes at this point. So I'm applying the hyaluronic acid first. Um, just to make sure that my skin is nicely saturated. And then I go in with primer. And at this point, I have actually put on my lashes, as you guys can see. And I chose these very big lashes because I just feel like the look is... Wow. <laughs> The look is bold the lashes go bold of course so i'm applying my face primer and this is by makeup revolution it's the pore blur and prime primer and then after the primer i decided to do my highlighter not highlighter concealer which can also be basically highlighter because i want these areas highlighted remove any dark shadows under my eyes and also at the top of my lip and below my lip and also on my forehead and i've also gone in with the illegal pro conceal concealer in the shade phone just to make sure that there's a nice gradient now that the highlighter is the concealer is really light so i've decided to apply it first before i apply my foundation instead of vice versa because if i apply the very light concealer after my foundation it may make my skin too light so i'm also going to contour my nose in the process and then I'm going to do that after blending it with a brush. I'm going to go in with a beauty blender just to make sure that everything is flawless. You want a, a flawless base. You don't want like bumps and lumps and something that is not smooth. So I'm going to go in with my Clinique Even Better Foundation. That is the shade Spice. Absolutely love it. And then I've also used setting powder to set the concealer. Yeah, the base is looking flawless. And then I'm going to set my entire face with powder because I want this to be a really matte face. I don't want it to be a glowy face because of the eyeshadow that I've used. And then I'm going to go in with a little bit of a blush and the NYX High Glass Illuminating Powder. And I'm going to, that's the shade Golden Hour for that NYX high glass if you are on my skin tone or even darker look for that nyx high glass illuminating powder that highlighter is so so beautiful on our skin tone no one can even tell it's there so i'm going to mix a couple of colors because this because this particular color will look a bit crazy with this eyeshadow look so i've mixed a black pencil with this color and then I'm going to go in with the shade Amazonian of the Superstay Maybelline Superstay Lipstick. And I'm going to blend that in. Because I want somewhat of a natural nude finish to my lips. Because the eyes are just the bell of the ball. The eyes are just everything. You don't want to overdo again. So I'm going to go in with that gloss. Although the temptation was too great. I went in with this like 1990s ask gloss and i applied it on my lips but it did turn out great so that is the look guys you can play around with different colors you don't have to use the red and the blue